Hi, this is Kyle with Hubstaff, and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to set up your company with Hubstaff and get started using our amazing time tracking and team management tools. You can get started in just three steps. Set up an organization, create projects, and add individual team members. Begin by setting up your organization. Most people use their business name. At the organization level, you can create standard settings such as maximum hours, scheduled start times, and preferred currency. Take a minute to set up your org settings first. You can come back and adjust them as you need. Once your organization is set up, you'll be able to create a project. Any time tracked in Hubstaff will be connected to a project. Projects can be one-time or ongoing, and created to fit your needs. Most organizations have several projects for things like marketing, development, and sales, or client names and locations. You can decide if setting up projects by client or type of work is best. For example, an agency might create a project for each client to track billable hours, whereas a developer may create a one-time project for building a website. All projects have their own settings, budgets, and assigned team members. Projects may be created inside Hubstaff or seamlessly imported from your project management tool, such as Trello, Asana, or Jira. Be sure to review all of our integrations to experience the full power of Hubstaff. Your final step to getting up and running is adding team members. A team member is the person who will log into Hubstaff and track time toward a project. Team members have different needs, so you can customize pay rates, maximum weekly hours, and monitoring features. Now that your team is in place, you're ready to start tracking time. Let's quick recap. Using Hubstaff requires an organization which represents your company and policies, a list of projects representing the work that will be tracked, and individual team members who will work on those projects and track time through our app. Check out the next video in the series to learn more practical hands-on tips for tracking time with Hubstaff.